NFL 22, and we'll see who rules the skies in tonight's battle. It's the Cardinals and the Hawks on Monday night. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. This crowd, as we've come to expect in recent years, as loud as any in the NFL, and they get even louder when their Seahawks are introduced. We're ready for football as the Seahawks get set to do battle with the Arizona Cardinals. Brandon Gordon and Charles Davis on hand. And this is a game where the defenses, they need to be on their toes because you've got quarterbacks here, yes, that can throw the football, but they can also run it very well, too. Mobile quarterbacks. Remember, for the longest time, they used to tell the quarterbacks, stay in the pocket. We don't want you outside of it at all. Nowadays, that mobility, truly an asset, and people are game planning for it. As a scout told me recently, we are actually working with what the colleges are giving us nowadays. so they'll bring it out to the 25. Arizona Cardinals offense coming out here for the first time, and we get a peek at Kyler Murray, the dangerous offensive weapon now in his third season in the National Football League. And when you have a guy like Kyler Murray under center, it not only opens up your playbook, it allows you to draw up even more plays because he's among the best dual threat quarterbacks in the league and a true playmaker. If flushed out of the pocket, he might even be more dangerous. The next step for him, being able to throw on rhythm and deliver from the pocket. Being chased out left. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. He'll get 10 there all on his own, but it'll be second down. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. On second and inches, Murray steps away to his left. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Give him two on the play there. And it'll give the Cardinals a first down. And that play is blown up. Losing yardage back at the 35. Now we're going to get a timeout here as it looks like there's a Seahawk injured on the play. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. Murray's going to keep it again. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. And a solid job using his legs. 16 yards and a first down on the keeper. And this, I mean, it's certainly something to watch out for. He is not afraid to call his own number on plays like that. And here he takes it for good yardage. And we know this defense prepared all week for this, but sometimes when you see it in person, it's a whole different ball game. And all that preparation, it goes right out the window. So from Seahawk territory now, it's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. So back-to-back -back big runs, picking apart this defense on the opening drive. I thought this was a passing league. I thought this was the <laughs> era we were in where the ball was always in the air, right? They didn't get the memo. And they didn't get the memo, and I know this to be true. Offensive linemen still, to this day, they want to run the football. They want to fire out and hit people across the line of scrimmage, and they're clearing space. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and 10. From the gun, Murray. This one grabbed by A.J. Green. 
It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And it'll be second and very short. Murray now. Open man is Kirk complete. They call that a loss of six yards. And it's third down now. Shotgun now for Murray. And Murray in trouble here, and down he goes. Carlos Dunlap, the Florida Gator, chopping his way to the quarterback. A CD, you know, so often we talk about quarterbacks holding on to the ball too long. Well, we can't say that there. He had no time to do much of anything. And it appears that this was just a letdown from the offensive line, but they do have a tough job because if you're a big tackle out there on the perimeter, Sometimes you don't have the agility to keep up with the defensive end. Who's looking to wreak havoc in the backfield? And he got there and put his man on the ground. On fourth down, here's Andy Leon to kick it away. Side judge stop his walk. That's the question. He says it crossed out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. And for the first time, we get a look at the veteran Russell Wilson as he gets set to lead yet again the Seattle Seahawks offense. Gave the commencement address at the University of Wisconsin a couple of years ago. One of the most popular players ever to pull on the uniform there. In the beginning of his career, he was a so-called game manager. Take care of the football and rely on the defense. Now, in this stage of his career, the offense runs through him, and it runs very well. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. Eluding the pressure right. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. They brought the blitz that time, and I thought they were going to get to him, but instead, he flipped it on its ear and ended up picking up positive yardage. I thought he was dead to rights, but you are exactly correct, sir. Able to... And the pressure will bring him down here. The Cardinals get home for the sack. The lightning rod, J.J. Watt with a sack. Well, anytime you sack Russell Wilson, that's a win for the defense. But to get him here on his opening drive of the ball game, that's a really big win for that defense. And the goal every week, keep him in the pocket. Don't let him get to the perimeter because when he's in the open field, not only can he hurt you, but also you lose sight of receivers down the field, and they'll hurt you with big plays. Wilson of the Seahawks looking for something big following the sack. It's third and long here. Now Wilson. He'll find Metcalf. Finding room at the 30. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 15 yards there on the catch and run. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Throwing is Wilson. Thrown across his body, and it's intercepted. Buda Baker with a pick, and they take over. They'll set up shot at the 46-yard line. Excellent pick there by Buda Baker. And I remember when teams were preparing for him primarily as one of the better special teamers in the league. An all-pro as a rookie in that spot. He's grown into being one of the best safeties in the NFL. In 2020, named all-pro again, this time as a member of the secondary. So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys, win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs. And that's what they need in order to not punt the ball again. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. Well, sometimes that option can get bogged down before the gears really even get into motion, and I think that's what we saw there. And I think what he saw, he saw defensive end right in his face because he looked up and he was right there. Didn't even have a chance to get going. Well, the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. Here's Murray from midfield. 
The catch made by DeAndre Hopkins. On, yeah, he'll be out go. just a yard or two shy of the 30. First catch of the game for Hopkins. It's a first down. First down Cardinals after the catch there by DeAndre Hopkins. Remember, he spent seven seasons in Houston, now in his second year with Arizona, and went over 10,000 yards receiving for his career last year. Another big season, also tied his career high with 115 catches, none bigger than the Hale Murray against the Buffalo Bills. Murray now on first down. Green brings it in. Touchdown, Cardinals! A.J. Green, 31 yards. And the Cardinals have taken the early lead. And on that one, able to catch it, also able to have the wherewithal to take it in for the score. And how about the phases of a successful catch and a completion of a play? Look the ball in, secure the catch, and then, of course, the run after the catch that ends up in the end zone. Now Matt Prater for the point after. And the Cardinals will go up seven to nothing. Scoring summary, three-play drive, and it winds up at a touchdown for Arizona. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. Reed going to bring it out of the end zone. And this will come out to the 25 as Reed opts for the touchback. Seattle's offense coming back onto the field, ready for their second drive. They had the interception last time. It led to the opening touchdown. So now 7-0 the score as they start first and 10. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. Buying time to his left. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. The last drive, remember, similar situation. He forced the ball into coverage through the pick. He learned better there. Yeah, similar to a golfer that's confronted with a shot that you just can't make. Sometimes you have to take your medicine, as they say, right? Just pull it down, take off, and go. Don't make something worse than what it was. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Here's Wilson. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on to the contact. Brings up second down. That's an excellent play by the defender. He diagnosed that one. Close quickly. It helped force the incompletion. On second and 10, Wilson. Flushed out right. He's got the first down and more past midfield. And he is out of bounds, but not before. He's inside the third. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Partner, it's often the man coverage is easier for a quarterback to run against. You get your receivers going downfield. Those guys are staying with them, and oftentimes they have their back to the quarterback, which opens up a lot of space and room, and they don't even know that he's taken off with it. What a big-time pickup on that play. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Wilson. Dancing to his left. And he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. The coverage may be too good that time as he breaks away for 19 with his legs and a first down. Man, defensively, that hurts. They got him out of his rhythm. They had him hemmed in, but somehow he was able to tuck it away and get away for a gain. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Now Wilson forced out to his left, and he will score. Touchdown, Seattle. Russell Wilson, a 10-yard touchdown run. And the Seahawks just an extra point away from tying this thing up. 
Not the first time on this drive we saw him take matters into his own hands, and this time he finishes things off with a touchdown run. You're not going to be happy with me, but I think he took matters into his own feet, didn't he? No. Oh. <laughs> Davis from the top rope. <laughs> I like it. Myers connects on the PAT. And that will tie our score here in this opening quarter of play. will be a touchback, no return from Isabella. With the football back in the hands of the Arizona Cardinals. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Murray now on first down. That's going to be caught by Kirk. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. Simple drag route here, lined up out left and tried to work his way back across the field. You probably saw me twitch there, partner, because I think he wanted the ball a little bit sooner. By the time he looked it in, defender was right on him. Now this throw caught left side. Pass the 20, touchdown, Cardinals. Christian Kirk, 68 yards. And the Cards on just two plays have taken the lead. Well, we know that he can beat you in a number of ways. He can catch it short, he can take it long, or he can do what we just saw right there, catch it and then run with the football. And that should serve as a big warning to this defense. They know now that they have to stick close to these receivers because they have the ability to break games wide open after the catch. And that one wound up in the end zone. Prater for the extra point, and that makes the score 14 to seven. That drive started on their own 25, two plays, 75 yards later, into the end zone. And after the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. Reed going to bring it out of the end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line. So the same result that he opted for the touchback. Now the ball now going back over to the Seattle Seahawks offense. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. On first down, Wilson. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. The intended receiver was DK Metcalf. And that'll bring up second down. Now it's Wilson. He goes right back to Metcalf, this time complete. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Five yards, now it's third and five. Now it's Wilson. Flush to his right. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That's something you have to be aware of as a defense and have to find a way to account for it. And if you're not going to use a spy, you're telling your guys to keep your eyes on him because when he breaks out and makes plays like that, all he does is hurt you. Have to at least be able to contain him somewhat. There they could not. So into Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 46. Here's Wilson. This one into the hands of Metcalf. And he'll go out of bounds right around the 40. A gain of six there on first. Second and four. There's Wilson to throw. And 
this is incomplete. Will Disley, the intended receiver, and it's third and four. Receiver coaches preach to their guys all the time. Separation, that's what's going to make the play successful. That time there was very little, and I think they were actually fortunate that it was only knocked away and not intercepted. Pressure comes, and Wilson's going to go down. Isaiah Simmons in there to get him for a loss of three, and it will be fourth down. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. The Seahawks go for it but can't convert. And this defense will take over right at midfield. The Cardinal offense here ready to take over. And they will simply, Charles, be looking to duplicate what they did last drive when they were able to push it in for six. And they hope it'll be that easy, right, to be able to take exactly what happened before, replicate it. They may have to make a few additional changes along the way because I'm sure the defense will make some adjustments, but they've got to have great confidence having scored the last time out. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Running right on the option is Murray. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. Only a yard there on the keeper, and that's going to leave him with a third down. Murray now to throw. And that is incomplete. You tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. And how about this, a fake? And this is incomplete. Oh, he looked like he had a pretty good line on that one. That would have been a big play, but he could not pull it in. The Seahawks offense now, they get set to go back to work. And last time they were very fortunate, this offense. They went for it on four, turned it over in their own territory, but the other guys held up. <laughs> they didn't give up any points. So how about the guy with the number one headset on the sidelines, the head coach? <laughs> that was planned going into it, not necessarily to not get the first down or to have the defense have to hold it. He trusted his defense. Trusted his defense very much, and I think that that's how he's going to play this game. Go for it. Be aggressive because I've got the wild bunch backing me up over here on my own sideline. <laughs> well, we'll see what his offense can do. Throwing again on second down. Wilson. That's complete to the tight end, Everett. His first catch. Good for nine in the first down. And Gerald Everett makes a good catch there for a first down. And he was signed away from the Seattle Seahawks division rivals, the Rams, after four years in L.A. backing up Tyler Higbee. He's excited about his opportunity in the Pacific Northwest. Last year, 41 catches, a career high. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked out and incomplete. Line of scrimmage again the 37 as they line up second and 10. To throw again is Wilson. And his throw is incomplete. Will Disley, the intended receiver, and it's third down. To throw is Wilson. That's going to be complete to his tight end, Everett. Touchdown, Seahawks. Gerald Everett, 37 yards. And the Seahawks just an extra point away from tying this thing up. For good reason, quarterbacks want to get the ball to the perimeter to their wide receivers for big plays. But in this situation, it felt like, based on coverage, he knew that he wanted his tight end to have the football, and for good reason. The extra point now coming from Myers. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all not up at 14. So that drive spanned five plays. And it all culminates with a Seattle score. one away. Isabella not going to risk a return here. They'll start at the 25. Here we go. 
Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking, my replacement may get an opportunity. <laughs> Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They... And Murray in trouble here, and down he goes. Carlos Dunlap able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. And this is what you've got to do against a quarterback like him. You've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter because once he gets outside, that's where he can really hurt you. Second and 20. Another try after the first down sack. Murray toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Chase Edmonds, the man he was looking for. But now it's third down. Well, as we get ready for third down, let's go back and recap here. The sack on the first part of this drive, that threw a wrench in what they were trying to accomplish because they were compelled to throw the ball on second down. A running play was not in the works. And that incompletion set up another passing down here on third and long. Just a two-yard pickup, and that should necessitate a call for the punt team here on fourth down. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. Here's Andy Lee now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. It'll be a net of 39, 41-yard punt, two on the return. And it'll be Seahawk football first and 10. Now we will get another look at Seattle's offense. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that, they had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. Uh, he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. Here's Carson. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. They were not fooling around at all, were they? Second and short, and they brought out that heavy package. Almost felt like the super heavy package against that defense, didn't it? Yeah, I don't think they expected that much beef up front, and it turned into an easy first down conversion. And he's got the first down here and then some, but a penalty flag down. This could very well be coming back. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. They try and run on first down, but this one going to lose a couple yards as they get him behind the line. Defensively, he has been a presence in their backfield in the first half. Had a sack earlier, and now he comes up with a big tackle for a loss. So now they operate back from their side of the field here, second and long. Being chased out left. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. A heck of an effort there on the scramble leaves him with just third and a yard. On third and one, Wilson escaping the pressure right. And smartly going into the slide there, Wilson has it up for the first. These two teams all tied after one. Second quarter now from Seattle, and it is the Seahawks with the football here. As they've got it with a first and ten. Now they'll throw it with Wilson. Nowhere to turn this time, and he goes down. Sacked back at the 29. 
So that now four first half sacks. This pass rush has been unrelenting. And partner, you hear that sound of paper being ripped to shreds? That's the game plan that they've had so far because they've got to say to themselves right now, we have to do something differently. Second and ten. Wilson. He's got his man. That's Everett, the tight end. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the ten to the seven. A good pick up there at 22. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. Looking to throw, Wilson. Eluding the pressure right. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. He'll get just a yard on the scramble at second down. Well, sometimes it's hard to take your eyes off this guy at the linebacker position. He can really cover some ground, and he did there to make that play. And that is a situation where in a defender's mind, you just have to pick a point on the football field and think to yourself, I'm going to sprint full out and meet him at that point. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't, but he had to play diagnosed perfectly there. And the next-gen stats tell the story as he was traveling at better than 19 miles an hour. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. This is Carson. And he is in for the Seattle touchdown. Chris Carson, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Seahawks are going to take the lead. A solid blocking up front from the guys on the offensive line allowed him to get in for the touchdown. Yeah, some might say that the guys on the offensive line were in concert. I used to have a coach who called it marrying up, meaning when you get on a guy, you just stay right there. Each guy has his own assignment that allowed the runner to make the big move towards the end zone. Extra point up and through by Myers. And the lead is now 21-14. Touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. And this will be a touchback, no return from Isabella. Kyler Murray going to lead the Cardinals back out on offense. You know, normally he's probably happy with how he's playing. He's playing pretty well, but in the second quarter, you look up your team's losing. I don't think any quarterback satisfied. Not at all, and what they're really seeking is, how do I play even better and inspire my teammates to do exactly the same in order for us to get back on top on the scoreboard? That's when you find out you have a quarterback. If they're just satisfied with their stat line, they're not really a leader. Not at all. You just have a guy playing the position. They'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. Murray a give. This is Connor. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. A gain of 10 first down, Arizona. And there's James Conner with a run that gets everyone's attention. He joined the Arizona Cardinals after four years in Pittsburgh. And his best year with the Steelers, 2018. Named a Pro Bowler after a 973-yard, 13-touchdown campaign. Mixed results the last couple of years as he's been in and out of the lineup. But with consistency, he can still be an effective runner. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. From the gun, Murray. Hopkins on the grab over the middle. A gain of six there on first. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Second down at four. Running left, here's Edmonds. 
Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he's got this down to the 35. That goes for 14 yards. First down, Cardinals. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Shotgun now for Murray. And Murray in trouble here, and down he goes. Carlos Dunlap bringing the pressure yet again. That's his third sack here tonight. These sacks now, they're starting to pile up, Charles. And that front seven defensively, they've had their way with this offensive line. And I think at this stage, we have to start thinking about different play calls. We've got to start helping this quarterback out because the entire game, he's been under siege. I don't care what the down and distance, they've got to get the ball out of his hands a lot quicker. Throwing on second and long. Murray. Murray fighting. Lost the football. And the Seahawks have picked it up. And they take over. They'll set up shop at the 46-yard line. That feels like an accumulation of the pressure we've seen all game. I mean, he's been on the turf a whole lot because of sacks. Eventually, something else happens as well. And this time, it was a turnover. Yeah, caught up to him. Here's Russell Wilson in the Seahawk offense now getting set to go again. He's thrown for a touchdown pass, and he's run for one so far. When you're able to watch a guy perform at a high level and do it in multiple ways, yeah, arm, legs, he really helps his team in a big way. You've got to think that they feel great about where they are in this ball game, and they feel even better about him leading their team. Now he's hoping to put them into a better spot after this drive. And the drive starts with a completion left side. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. 19 yards there on the catch and run. Nice throw. Big man catches the football for a first down, and that big man, that's DK Metcalf, the ninth receiver taken in the 2019 draft class. I think if we redid it, he might very well be the first one off the board. 83 catches for 1,300 yards last year. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. Now left, he's got it to Everett. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. A well-executed 22-yard game. Not only they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? Now Wilson. Flush. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. That's on the big guard, Gabe Jackson. A terrible spot for a holding call as he'll try again, but now from further back on first and goal. Throwing is Wilson. Flush to his right. And he will score. Touchdown, Seattle. Russell Wilson with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Seahawks are able to stretch that lead out a bit further. The quarterback run has eaten him up all game long, and there he goes again, this time into the end zone. And what I like about what I'm seeing, absolutely running almost with impunity. He's not worried about his body. He's not worried about sliding. He's not worried about protecting himself. He's worried about getting yardage. If you're on the defensive side of the ball, you can't start figuring out what these blocking schemes are and finding ways to defeat him. Myers connects on the PAT, and the lead now up to 14. Touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. And the 
this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Now Kyler Murray ready to get back under center. And how does he rally the troops, so to speak? He's played well, but they're down big on the scoreboard. How does he get his guys going? To make sure they understand it's not a me game, it's a team game. Everyone has to come together. Everyone has to up the level of play a little bit, including himself, and find a way to make some plays in order to give them a little bit of a spark and rally the team. We'll see if they can indeed rally down big on the scoreboard right now. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards and moves the sticks. First down grab there by Christian Kirk, now in his fourth season with the Arizona Cardinals, and they would like to get the ball to him a little bit more. Just 48 catches last year. Typically, when he catches it, it results in big plays. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Throwing now is Murray. Caught left side, Hopkins. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. 12 yards to pick up, good enough for an Arizona first. Out of the gun, here's Murray. And Murray in trouble here, and down he goes. Carlos Dunlap make that now four sacks for him in tonight's ball game. Well, Charles, this has been something to watch so far. This is where you really feel for a quarterback. He's been running for his life in this first half. Brandon, that's five sacks already, so you know he's got to be saying, can we get some more guys in here to block, please? Because if we don't, we're going to need another quarterback. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Another try after the first down sack. Murray to Connor on the check down. And they'll get this just to the 47, one yard gain. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. short kick here as this is toward the sideline and this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds Russell Wilson now gears up to lead the offense again he's got the lead here in the second quarter he's thrown the touchdown but also an interception as a quarterback does that interception even though you're playing while well, your team's got the lead does that always stick in the back of your mind a little bit for the best ones, it just upsets them that they did that because they don't think there should be any blemishes on their record. They think that they're way better than that. So your confidence gets tested a little bit. Being able to go back out there, maybe throw another touchdown, that'll tamp that down in a big way. Yeah, I can see he's looked pretty good to this point. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. Here's Wilson. Dumps this one off to Chris Carson. It's a gain of six on the play, and they're going to face a third down. Wilson. Open man is Metcalf. He's got it. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down as they get five there on third and two. Well, five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. Well, we're used to seeing the guy that you consider the number one receiver double covered, but how about this guy? He's double covered and finds a way to make the play for a first down. That's how you increase your Madden rating, right? No doubt about that at all. And you know something? I think we'll hear about that from him soon. Touchdown. 
On first down, Wilson. A good rally to the football keeps him to only a yard in its second down. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. Looking to throw again on second down. Wilson steps away to his left. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. It's just a gain of a couple there on the scramble, and now it's third down. Now Wilson. They'll find everything complete. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A game of 26 on the third down conversion. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. So in the Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 30-yard line. Here's Wilson. He'll rifle this one deep right side. End zone caught. Touchdown, Seattle. Russell Wilson with two first half touchdown passes. And the Seahawks add on to their lead. And that was a beautiful ball right there as he waited for his tight end to come uncovered in the end zone to give him points for patience as well. Delivered it right where it needed to be for six points. Now Myers for the extra point. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So that drives seven plays in length. And the Seahawks capping it off with a touchdown. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Cardinal offense takes back over. They're down three touchdowns to this point, needing to put something together as they have it first and ten. Murray now. And Murray in trouble here, and down he goes. Carlos Dunlap, my goodness, make that now five sacks for him in this ball game. Really, really turning in an incredible performance. I'm starting to wonder if this offensive line just simply doesn't like him. I mean, they've given up six sacks in this game. He's had nowhere to go, nowhere to run, and obviously nowhere to hide. And all those sacks in the first half, this is just complete domination. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Another try after the first down sack. Murray. That looked like a pretty good route combination there because you've got to find a way to clear the guy running the drag because when you do, you just put the ball on him and then let him run. Yeah, he's got some space. The Cardinals on third down. Not good. 0 for 4 thus far. This is third and 8. Murray going to throw. And able to find Kirk complete. And he is going to have the Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That'll put him over 100 yards receiving now here in this first half of action. When you're struggling on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. Murray 
now on first down. Pressure comes. He's taken down by the Seahawks defense. Carlos Dunlap in there to get him again. That is sack number six. One off the NFL record of seven. This offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush. We've seen it demonstrated time and time again to the tune of seven sacks in this game thus far. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Another try after the first down sack. Murray, and the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. The pro bowler DeAndre Hopkins, the intended receiver. And it takes us from second to third down. In trouble, and he's taken down. Jordan Brooks able to drop him for a loss of two, and that will bring up fourth down. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Here's Andy Lee now, as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. So possession goes over here on the punt, and possession will switch hands first and ten. The Seahawks again now ready to take over on offense. They've really distanced themselves. They have put the pedal to the metal, I guess, so to speak. So definitely have them in the rearview mirror, don't they? I mean, you're exactly right. Being able to string together these drives that end up in points, it's almost like a run in basketball to create that distance, and they're on a really big time one right now. It becomes contagious, doesn't it? It absolutely does, because oftentimes it translates to your defense as well, because they're excited about getting the ball back for their offense that's playing so well. Well, they are clicking right now. So it goes as a completed pass, but they lose a full five yards. Well, his completion percentage continues to rise with that one, but sometimes you want your completion percentage to go down. Maybe you should have thought about throwing that one away. I was just going to say, it is easier said than done, but that's where you maybe bury it at his feet, make sure he doesn't catch it. Great job. Great call right there. Put it near the receiver. No grounding, nothing like that, but no one gets a chance to pick it off either. To throw again on second down. Wilson. Left side here taken in by Metcalf. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Now it's Wilson. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. They brought in a heavy set on third down, and that usually means running play, but we have seen them throw out of that formation. And sure enough, they snuck the tight end out on that one, wound up hitting him for a first down. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. There's Wilson to throw. He'll find Metcalf, and they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. A couple of first downs has the football positioned at the 43 as they come up first and 10. Throwing again here, Wilson. Escaping the pressure right. Yeah, he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Normally we're talking about a quarterback duel where they're matching each other pass for pass. How about the footwork in this with both of these guys running the ball well? Yeah, they've mixed in the run game. You're exactly right. Now, both coaches might not like how much their quarterbacks <laughs> have taken off, but another example right there of just good mobility. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. To throw is Wilson. And that one will fall incomplete. 
Clock here now, just under 30 seconds to go in this first half. Chris Carson, the intended receiver, but it's going to be second down. Wilson. And a quick shuffle pass here is complete. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. It's a loss of four. Now third down. And offensively, they'll take the timeout with six seconds left in the second quarter. And Myers able to knock it through. And that will extend the lead out to 24. So after five touchdowns offensively, hey, maybe it's time to get the kicker a little work and he's able to connect there. I love that empathetic side of you. You're worried about him getting some action, getting to be a part of the game. Well, he got in and got it done. On the return, Andy Isabella. We got this. So we are at halftime here in downtown Seattle with the Seahawks out in front. As we'll send you eastward to Orlando, standing by with that EA Sports halftime report now is Jonathan Coachman. Take it away, Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. We saw a strong first half out of quarterback Russell Wilson. First order of business, though. Let's get a look at the next-gen stats in that first half for Arizona. And despite the fact that they're looking up at a double-digit deficit at halftime, they were able to move the football through the air in those first two quarters. Meanwhile, for the Seahawks, they were even better throwing the football. Lots of open receivers to choose from, and you can bet that'll continue to be a focus in the second half. Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Seahawks with the advantage, and they get the football first as the second half is underway. Reed going to bring it out of the end zone. No run back here for Reed, so this will come out to the 25. The Seahawks offense set to go to begin this third quarter. And the first half definitely went their way, and this would seem to be a great opportunity to kind of put this game a little closer out of reach with a score here. Yeah, and it's a wonderful opportunity for them because if they can add seven more to their lead before the other guys even see the football, that could be the decisive blow in this game. I think that's how they're eyeing it. That's how they're approaching it. Wilson and the Seahawks take over now first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Now it's Wilson, buying time to his left. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. He's starting to fall into the category of not fair because when he's on target throwing the ball, he's dangerous. But when you add in his ability to make plays with his feet, <laughs> Almost impossible. Yeah, exactly. They've had trouble stopping him in the secondary. This time they've got the great coverage. Oh, he can run too. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Back to throw. Wilson. That's going to be caught by Nick Malore. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. 25 yards there on the catch and run. Well, they've certainly spread the ball around so far, but they're definitely getting everyone involved now when you're throwing it to the fullback. Just shows how versatile this offense is and how everyone is a threat. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Looking to throw, Wilson. He'll check that down to Carson. And this one's gonna go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. 
So it goes as a completed pass, but they lose a full five yards. Well, Brandon, we could see that play developing, and they were hoping that he was going to be able to put a move on the first guy and turn it into a big play. But no such luck. The speed on defense continues to get better and better in the NFL. Pretty nice example there of those guys being able to run from their assignments and finish off that play. On second down, it's Carson. And very little there. He might have gotten a yard. Yeah, I think he got a yard to the 41. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. And this is good. It was running out of gas there at the end, but he winds up getting just enough on it. And that'll push the lead from 24 up to 27. So put another three on the board. All things considered, a good opening drive to begin the third quarter. And as a defense, the way that this game is going, you're excited to see those points go on the board. Gives them a little bit of leeway to play with when they're out on the field, but they're real excited to see their offense score. Now they get to go out there and do their part. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. The Cardinals offense now ready to get their first opportunity here in the second half. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. Well, you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the train. Looking for Green, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Quadre Diggs. And they'll take over inside the 45 at the 44-yard line. The one thing you always like about Quandre Diggs is his ability to bring his quarterback build and skills to the safety position. Had a career high five interceptions to lead the Seahawks in 2020, where he was a first-time Pro Bowler. I love the way he plays in the secondary. After the interception, here's Wilson. Pressure comes, and Wilson's going to go down. Zayvon Collins came in there hard on the blitz and got him down nine yards behind the line of scrimmage. That time, finally, a measure of revenge as they get him down behind the line. It almost felt like relief, didn't it? Because with the success he's had throughout this game, you'd almost expect him to get free and pick up 10 to 15 every time he takes off. Not in that case, that has to feel good for the defense. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Another try after the first down sack. Wilson. This one into the hands of Metcalf. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. This will be a loss of three, and now a much tougher third down looming. Now, I'm not putting him in the Hall of Fame, but if you look at the great linebackers in history, they all have that ability to innately sense where a play is going, end up making the play. The card's going nickel. An extra defensive back out there now on third down. Wilson after the play fake to Carson. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. He opted to go with a scramble, gets two yards, and now it's fourth. He certainly had plenty of success running the ball, and right now I'm getting the sense that he's looking to take off and run every time he steps back to throw it. But they did a nice job there collapsing on him and holding him to a short gain. Now here's Michael Dixon. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. 
Now a high kick, almost a pooch punt. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. Just 21 yards on the punt there. And the Cards will take over first and 10. Arizona's offense back out and ready to go. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling because a one-play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action. I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in it, and let him fling another one. Bobby Wagner, the all-pro, in on the tackle. Working with second and five now. Watch the pass. Watch the pass. <laughs> to throw, it's Murray. On the right side, caught by Green. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. But there wasn't much there with that hitch route. They didn't gain what they expected. But sometimes when you call a hitch, you really don't have an alternate to go to. You don't have a second route to throw it to. So sometimes you have to rifle in there and hope for the best. Trying to pick it up on the ground with Edmonds. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. I like this focus there because he wasn't thinking about breaking that one big. All he thought about was, I need one. Let's go get that. Ended up picking up two. so far in this one, I would think they'd have to start throwing it a little bit more. They'll have to deal with a second and 14 now after the loss. To throw is Murray. On the screen, this is Edmonds. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. Got that look from you there, Parker. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. Going to get this to his running back, Edmonds. Touchdown, Cardinals! Chase Edmonds, 55 yards. And the Cardinals cut into that lead. Well, if they're going to make a game of this in the second half, they need a few big plays to go their way. That's one. And the way to get it done is to also conserve time. So to your point, that big play right there, now you're not moving the ball downfield, taking time off the clock. You're leaving yourself a better avenue to continue to try and make a comeback. Prater on to add the extra point. And the lead is down to 20. A drive that time of six plays. And the Cardinals cap it with a touchdown. Touchdown out is Prater to kick. And this will come out to the 25 as Reed opts for the touchback. Here's Russell Wilson and the Seahawk offense now getting set to go again. And the yardage just continues to pile up. We're still in the third quarter. He's had a heck of a game. Keep your calculator handy because these numbers are skyrocketing. Loving watching what he's doing right now because what do we call it, in the zone? Yeah, he's in the zone. I think he's in the zone plus right now. Everything is like a laser. See if he can stay in that zone. 
A nice play design there with the touch pass. Looked good at the start, but bottom line, the defense was ready. And they did a nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting, but now executing once they saw the play for real after having worked on it all week in practice. They drilled on the play, then they drilled him. Now a throw here, hauled in. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Here's Wilson. Here's Carson with a catch out of the backfield. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. It looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover it before he gets going? First and ten, it's Wilson. That's complete into the hands of Carson. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. He's having a nice game through the air. His decision-making's been really good, solid there again. Just seeing nothing downfield goes underneath. Nice game. How about the patience? Because when you're having a big game through the air, you're looking for those chunk plays, those big ones downfield. Instead, as you noted, Takes the check down, dumps it off, gains good yardage anyway. Really well executed. A gain of just a yard, but it's a first down. I'd have to say they're feeling like they are in rhythm right now. Things are in sync, aren't they? Team's winning, got a nice little margin on the scoreboard, completing some passes, and they just completed another one for a first down there to the tight end. Now here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. That's a staple of this offense, drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. And he's taken down, trying to do a little too much, getting outside of the pocket, and it results in a sack. Jordan Phillips in there to get him. That is the sixth time that they have sacked him tonight. Well, collectively as a defense, Charles, I think if you get four sacks a game, you're feeling really good. Now they have six as a unit. And that type of a number, it's just staggering because there's so many ways to try and counteract it. But in this case, they've got no answers for this unrelenting pressure coming at their quarterback. Wilson and the Seahawks looking for something big following the sack. It's third and long here. From midfield now, here's Wilson. A pass underneath for Carson. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. Three yards, all they could muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked it down to force a fourth down? Now here's Michael Dixon as he'll punt it away for the second time. And this one hits at the one, continues on into the end zone for a touchback. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two-minute. Who knows? Let's see what they decide to do. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. Now Murray. That's out to the flat for Edmonds. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. Three yards the gain there, second down. Murray gonna throw. And his throw here is incomplete. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you gotta hit. He's wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to him. First thing. And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. 
It's caught on the right side, Williams. And he gets it to the 32, good enough for a first down. Let's go. Let's go. That gain of nine buys him a new set of downs. That was a route run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Murray to air it out again. That's going to be caught by Kirk. Not much there, only a yard. He's been a busy man here in this one, and they're showing off some nice footwork to stay in bounds. And with those types of catches and the volume that we've seen in this game, wouldn't you keep him busy as well? I would. Of course, you gotta <laughs> keep throwing it to him. He keeps making plays. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. The Cardinal passing game dialed in now. First down. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football, and right now I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. So from Seahawk territory now, it's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. From the gun, Murray. And his pass incomplete. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. Third quarter on a Monday night with a second and 10 coming up. Shotgun now for Murray. Open man is Kirk, complete. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks' 35. Murray hooking up with Kirk for an Arizona first down. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. First and 10, here's Murray. Dancing to his left. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. Murray now. And caught right side, Green. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks' 18. Murray to the veteran green for the Cardinal first. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. From the red zone, here's the Heisman Trophy winner, Murray, throwing the out route incomplete. It's Hopkins. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. A five-yard gain there makes it first and goal. So a decent deficit at this stage in the second half. Four down territory? No doubt about it. There's not a chance that he hasn't looked ahead and said, okay, if we gain yardage on this play, this is what we'll do going forward. If we lose yardage, this is the play call that I'll have ready. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll run here with Connor, and he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. James Connor, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Cardinals have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. So a little bit of a letdown there defensively. I mean, look, you're still two scores to the good, CD, but things may be a little more uncomfortable than they had hoped. Yeah, if you'd kept them out of the end zone there, this game's over. You've locked the door on them. Instead, it's still open a little bit, and they've got a puncher's chance. Now Prater to add the PAT. And that will cut this lead down to 13. That one in the books as a 12-play drive. And it was a touchdown run by James Conner that was the exclamation mark. 
after the touchdown. Out is Prater to kick. This is DJ Reed returning. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. They've been pretty anemic on this side of the football in the second half, just three points, and you just saw the touchdown go the other way. So it's a two-score game. We're not done here yet. I think everyone's on the edge of their seats now because they're anticipating what's coming, and I sense that everyone in the stadium knows they need to keep it on the ground. So if you're going to do that, Hope the quarterback is stretched a little bit. Some bootlegs, right? <laughs> Some fakes inside, getting out to the perimeter. Those might be open for him. Now throw left side to start the drive is complete. And he'll take this across the 25 before going out of bounds. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Now it's Wilson. That's complete to Disley, the tight end. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. First down, Seattle, 16 yards the game there. Another nice pick up through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but, but this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. There's Wilson to throw. Now left, he's got it to Everett. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. 12 more yards there and another first down. Throwing is Wilson. Flushed out right. And he'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. He'll get 10 there all on his own, but it'll be second down. And we have to give credit to him for buying time and extending the play. But you know, there's some really upset defenders on that one. They thought that they had him. Instead, he was coated in Teflon and got away. Forced out to his left. Space to run past the 20. And he'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. The rushing numbers for Wilson maybe down from earlier in his career, but he's still a threat to go, showing it there, picking up the first down. zone now. They'll look to throw. He'll find Metcalf. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. That one good for 10 yards. And that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. Wilson. Flushed. And he is in for the Seattle touchdown. Wilson, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Seahawks have put this one to bed here in the fourth quarter. I'd have to say that for him, that was an all-encompassing drive because it was his arm that got his team down to that point, but his legs that finished the deal. Give him credit for making it happen. The extra point now. Coming from Myers. And that one pushes the lead up to an even 20. So this drive spans seven plays. And it was Russell Wilson finishing things off with a touchdown run. Isabella. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. The Cardinals offense ready to set up shop. 
And that recipe on their last drive that resulted in a touchdown looked pretty good, so they'll be hoping to do that once more. And it takes me back to when we sat with the offensive coordinator and the head coach. They felt pretty good about their game plan and thought there were some holes in the defense, and they exploited them the last time out. Let's see if they can come back and put it again. And the defense loses him. It's complete. Touchdown, Cardinals. A.J. Green. His second touchdown of the night. And the Cardinals get a bit closer. You've got to understand situational football because they're playing with the lead here late in the ball game. So the back defender has got to be as deep as the deepest receiver. Keep everything in front of you. Rally up and make the play. Yeah, you would think they had the three-score lead. Now it's down to two, but three-score lead here late that they wouldn't give up a big pass play like that, but they did. Prater on and the extra point. And that will cut this lead down to 13. Those are the kind of drives they like on offense from the coordinator to the quarterback, the line, everybody. One play drive and into the end zone for six. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. Here's Reed returning. And a nice put him to inside the 15 as he's dropped at the 14. The DK Metcalf of the Seattle offense about set to take over once again. So glancing at these numbers, I think they tell a story of, hey, early on he got hot, he got their attention. They've been able to hone in on him, shut him down a bit. He certainly did get their attention, and that's the ultimate compliment for a player, that when you come out in the second half, all of a sudden, there's extra guys around you. There are different coverages rolled your way. That means you've done something really well. Now, it's up to him to make his own adjustment and find a way to beat the new defenses he's facing. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Will Disley, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. Wilson. This one into the hands of Metcalf. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. And we've seen him have success earlier on with the ball in his hands because he is a get it in space and make a play kind of a receiver. But that time, they closed on him quickly and held him to a short game. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. That is an absolute backbreaker. That was a design passing play. Wasn't a draw. You think you got him stopped. Good coverage downfield. And he's able to pick up the first with his legs. Defensively, that kicks into your psyche and hurts a little bit, doesn't it? It certainly does. And, and here's the thing. Anytime you give up a first down, it hurts you psychologically. But it hurts more when they get it this way. Because you've covered everything. He didn't have any place to throw the football. He takes off running and picks it up anyway. And now you have to stay on the field for an extra set of downs. And really could have used that stop trailing here in the fourth. Being chased out left. And he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. And that was not a bad scramble there on first down. He didn't force it, nor did he throw it away. He was able to take off, and now he made it a very manageable second and short. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. A couple extra tight ends of the formation here as they line up third and two. Pressure comes, and Wilson's going to go down. Marcus Golden, too much to handle that time, gets the sack. The pressure that time right up the middle, and he was able to wiggle in there pretty easily and get the sack. Yeah, sometimes you end up getting caught in a little bit of a breakdown about who to block up front, and that creates the gap there. And he took full advantage, got to the quarterback, and finished off the sack. Now here's Michael Dixon as he's on to punt for Seattle. And that'll hit in the end zone. Much too much leg there. That'll be a touchback. All right, here now a look at A.J. Green. 
When you're in a zone like he is, what's the conversation like on the sideline between he and his quarterback? Is that a one-way conversation of, hey, just keep getting me the football? It actually is probably a two-way conversation because he wants to keep getting him the football because he's seeing the payoff. You know, getting the ball to that guy means yardage and, as we've seen, touchdowns in this game. So I think both of them get more and more excited about the possibilities as things continue on. Yeah, so far it's been over 100 yards and the two scores. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Throwing now is Murray. And his throw is going to be incomplete. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. To throw once more on second and 10, Murray. And they'll go back to Hopkins, and this time he's got it. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. That'll go as a pickup of 32 on the catch and run. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Now Murray again. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free and it's second down. Line of scrimmage again the 37 as they line up second and 10. Here's Murray. He'll take a shot for the end zone. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked up by DJ Reed. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And here in the fourth quarter, defensively, you know that you're just going to blanket the field with defensive backs and say, OK, take your best shot. And that time, it's intercepted. And we've often seen teams going to the prevent early, way too early. And sometimes they get too soft in their coverages, but not in this case. They understood the situation and played it with the proper aggression. Seattle again getting ready to take over offensively. They have to like the position that they are in. Fourth quarter, two-score lead, and now the ball back after the INT. After the interception, here's Wilson. Steps away to his left. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. Able to find a lot of empty space there, picking up the first down at a 21-yard gain. Now, those are the ones that hurt defensively. You do everything right. Excellent pressure, good coverage downfield, and then he slips out the back door and turns it into a nice gain. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Again, Wilson will keep it, and the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. J.J. Watt, tough to stop. He gets upfield and makes a play behind the line. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package, and that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. After the loss, they'll come up second and 13. Now Wilson. And this will go to Carson out wide. Got a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. I think the best offenses love to get the ball to their running backs in open space because they have the ability to make people miss, and they also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that, the pressure comes, and Wilson's going to go down. Credit that to the rookie first-rounder, Zayden Collins, the former Tulsa Golden Hurricane. Well, here's what happened. Mobility sometimes can work against you as a quarterback. He thinks he can retreat and outrun the pressure. 
but that time they zeroed in on him and took him down for a big loss partner a really big loss Now here's Michael Dixon as he's on to punt for Seattle. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Kyler Murray going to lead the Cardinals back out on offense. With his guys trailing here in the fourth, he can ill afford a repeat of the interception that ended the last drive. Yeah, you two scores down. You take it upon yourself now to play perfect or near-perfect football if you want to get your team back into the game. But it's also tough to do when you're trying to avoid errors, yet still play perfect football. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. Now Murray. Flushed out right. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. He'll wind up with positive yardage. It's a gain of three. But now it's third down. Looked to me like they adopted what my kindergarten teacher always said. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. And finally, able to hold him in check. He'd been carving him up running the ball. That's the first time I think I've seen where the coverage was good downfield and they accounted for him and stopped him for a short pickup. Yeah, I don't think it was a big adjustment, but much more emphasis on making sure they knew where he was when he decided to take off and go. And he will not be able to hang on to the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. They'll run for it with Connor, and he gets it to the 32. Good enough for a first down. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Here's Murray. And completes it to Kirk over the middle. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Give him 19 there as the drive marches forward. Good yardage on the completion there. And when they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. So from Seahawk territory now, it's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Murray's throw on target to Christian Kirk. And it's out. He put it on the carpet. And the Seahawks have picked it up. And the return this time will go out to the 42-yard line. We have seen this before, and we know coaches preach about this and work on it all the time. Catch the ball. You know there's going to be some traffic somewhere. They've got to put it away and secure it as they try and get downfield. Wilson, the Seahawks take over now. First and 10 at their own 42. He gives it off to Carson. And fights through one man. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. Now it's Carson. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. It's a loss of five there, bringing up second. Brent, it's clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. Behind the sticks here with a second and 15. Now Wilson. 
to the right side and complete to Metcalf. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. The passing game continues to be their friend, even with a stable lead here in the fourth, Charles. They're going back to that well. Yeah, with their overall philosophy, you know that they trust their quarterback. He's been able to throw it well. They continue to throw these safe passes. Who can blame them? Wilson able to hook up with that switch first down Seattle. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. Calling no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. On third down, Wilson. Nowhere to turn this time, and he goes down. Sack back of the 29. Isaiah Simmons in there to take him down on what will take us to the two-minute warning. So it's Seahawk football as we march toward a conclusion. They've got a fourth down here in a game that looks to have been decided already. Myers' kick is good. And that will swell the lead to 16. So that, not just important to the fact that it widens their lead, but really that was a textbook job of just hanging on to the football. And we know all the time that coaches talk about time of possession. Sometimes it's a stat that doesn't matter much, but in this drive, it matters a lot. They want to reduce time and score points and lock this game down. Kyler Murray now in the Cardinal offense. Down by 16, a minute 54 on the clock. Somehow they need to come up with a pair of touchdowns and two two-point conversions. First down, Murray. DeAndre Hopkins making the catch. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Hang on here. They declined that. So the yardage will stand. There has to be confusion coming from the bench to the field about what their intentions are because you guarantee they want the penalty turned down that big yardage gained against them instead they turned down the penalty and the yardage stands five yards on the catch there brings up second down and a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five now the seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down in need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Now here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. And a field goal obviously means nothing here. They're going to go ahead and go for it on fourth down. Now Murray's got to have this one. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. Well, they knew a lot of steps had to happen here. They got step one, the touchdown. You need a two-point conversion here, don't you? You do, and as you continue to look ahead, if they're able to get that, somehow get the ball back and get another score, they have to go for two again. That's why teams are practicing multiple two-point plays. We saw that in Super Bowl 51 with the Patriots getting a pair of big two-point conversions. So the touchdown was big, this almost equally big, as he'll try to get it to a one-score game with a two-point conversion. Back to throw, Murray. And that one is caught. So they convert here and don't look now, but this one's back to a one-score game. And hold the phone now, this game isn't over yet. Not at all. Now, get the football back. That's the first thing. However you do it, get the ball back and then manipulate the clock with your offense because you've got to get the ball into the end zone. So here we go. They'll need the recovery, obviously, then a touchdown and a two-point conversion to tie. 
And the Seahawks, looks like they've recovered. They have. A tough one there. They certainly wanted that one. They needed it, but they didn't absolutely have to get it. They still do have three timeouts. You're exactly right. They had to attempt it. But even though they didn't get it, as you noted, with three timeouts, if they can get these stops on defense, all hope is not lost. Here come the Seahawks now, set to take over on offense. And this game not quite in hand yet. We'll likely see all three timeouts defensively and then reassess where we are. They'll start by running the option to the right. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts it, as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Wilson wants to throw it. Buying time to his left. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. He turned that into a nice gain. Gets him eight yards closer for third down. Wilson to throw. Flush to his right. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. Now the Cards going to call another timeout, their second, as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. Throwing now is Wilson. Dancing to his left. The Cardinals forced to burn their third and final timeout as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in the fourth. Here's Wilson. Escaping the pressure right. And down inside the 15, shot of the 10. Call it a gain of 11 yards, and that should just about do it. They'll run on first down. Carson looking for a cutback lane, but nothing there as he's met at the line of scrimmage. Chandler Jones, a former All-Pro, in on the tackle. Now Wilson. And he's going to go down. Sacked right around the 17. Jordan Phillips in there to make the sack on what will be the final act in this ball game. Zone. 